This is the scene of an avalanche fatality that occurred yesterday, March 11th. What happened was there were actually three riders on this slope when it broke. One was over here on the right side. One was stopped, uh, kind of in the middle near these small pucker trees. And the third was climbing up above him near some of those bigger rocks. The avalanche broke. The two riders uh, who were actually moving at the time on either side were able to escape. The rider in the middle who stopped was caught, carried down, buried about six feet deep. Unfortunately, they didn't have any rescue gear, including beacons, probes, and shovels, so they weren't able to find him right away. And you can see by the size of this debris field, it was, uh, it was really hard to find him, and it was several hours later when a probe team found him. Unfortunately, it was too late. Their intentions weren't to climb. They knew it was, there was an avalanche warning, and they did not intend on, on climbing slopes like this. They had been playing out here, riding around in the meadows and the flats. But later in the day, um, tra there were, this slope actually had a lot of tracks on it. It led them to believe that it was stable and they started climbing up on it, and um, unfortunately it, it wasn't. And the, the, really the, the message moving forward is that tracks on a slope don't really indicate stability, and the problem with these types of avalanches is that it, it's a matter of hitting the slope in, in, in just the right spot, and then it'll fracture over, the, over, over a wide area. Unfortunately, it, it didn't end well in this case.